Lots to talk about. Luckily, not a whole lot locally going on right now, so we can really sort of fast forward through that. Brr, great visibility, and you can see nothing at all on radar. A couple of isolated showers early, and not quite as hot as a couple of other recent nights. I want to say we were at 81 maybe last night. 78, though, right now, and the dew point's still really high, so a lot of humidity out there. Almanac page four today, 89. Yesterday, if my memory serves me correctly, was 90. So we've been right about that 90 degree mark for the past several days, and we're going to stay pretty close to that, even though the average is 82. So really overnight, just like what you had last night. Tomorrow morning, waiting out at the bus stop or commuting to work. Same sort of a scenario. Same thing tomorrow afternoon. Maybe 5% of us see a stray shower. Yesterday it was Eastern Shore and Outer Banks, and tomorrow maybe it's over the metro. Who knows? Tomorrow there will be literally just one or two very isolated showers or storms. That all dies off then quickly tomorrow evening and leads to another day Friday. Very similar as well. At least the temperature, the humidity will all be similar. I think the odds of rain will go up a little bit, but still less than a quarter of us. We're going to say maybe 15% of us seeing some wet weather Friday afternoon. Showed this earlier, but in case you're just watching uh, for the first time during the newscast, started out a very concentric area with a hole right in the middle. That's a very powerful storm. This is not as powerful of a storm when instead of in the middle, it's right over here near the edge. Some of this drier air close to the center of the circulation. So as a result, we had the updated path, but it hadn't updated the coordinates. This is now the very latest in terms of the category down to category three. Still a major hurricane, winds of 125 gusting to 155, but again down from earlier. Probably going to weaken some and get pulled apart in the next day or two by some upper level wind shear. The same stuff that's pulling it apart a little bit now, making it sort of lopsided. But that shear should ease and the water temperatures go up as we are going to have a major hurricane in all likelihood on a general path sort of toward the east coast. But that is a long, long way away. We look for consistency between runs. The Euro run is you or the Euro is usually our most uh, accurate model over the last number of years, especially for hurricanes. On Monday morning, it said this was the closest the hurricane would get to us. Then when it came out Monday night, it said, no, 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 no. Middle of the, uh, the Atlantic, that's where it's going to be. That's the closest it'll get to you. Tuesday morning, it said, yeah, that was the right idea. It's not going to get any closer than Bermuda, if even that. And then Tuesday afternoon, it switched and said Myrtle Beach. And now this morning, it switched and said just barely east of us. What will it show when it comes out in another three or four hours? We'll have to stay tuned. But the consensus, when they run it 50 times, as well as the American model, does keep it a close call to the East Coast. So we'll have to watch that. Storms in history that have been in this position, almost all of them have missed us. One that didn't was Isabel. Does that mean this one will be like Isabel? No way to tell at this junction. So 90 the next couple of days down to 84 Saturday, 82 Sunday, and you can see the rain odds go up considerably over the weekend. Next